And let's see, the next rod I got up here is basically a bass flipping stick I tried putting together. I wanted to have a little bit of fun, try something different, get back to my roots. Um, basically what this rod consists of is as far as blank, it's a 12 to 25 pound Kistler carbon steel series, telescopic of course, where the rod actually slides into the butt at this point here. I didn't fix this part up yet. I'm still waiting on somebody to make a purchase so I can put name, label, etc. Basically I got a Mooskin style hard grip once again where this one's got like a C camo color. Uh, down locking Fuji standard seat, nothing fancy. Um, basically back here I put quite an extensive multiple layer marbling job which actually adds a lot of weight to the rear which makes flipping, jigging, etc. a whole lot easier. Um, as we come down to the guides, I went with the Pack Bay uh, Blue Zirconia style. So basically, it's those blue metal guides with a TICH frame. Let me back up there, get a little bit better view of it if we can. Can't really make out the color, time to get a better camera. Um, the other detail I went into was on the thread wraps on each guide. Basically, what I did is, as you see, I tried to maximize it out by putting a little bit of a silver epoxy band around the blue thread to where let's see if we can get a good view of this to where basically it almost gives it a unique kind of detailed crusty pattern to match the blank uh, multiple layer thread you got a couple double guides that lead up to the single foots that then start to lead up I under wrapped them for heavier reinforcement and power setting ability so um, normally this rod I would do out at 230. I'm going to be doing this rod out uh, for 150, uh, <laughs> which is a little bit more than I got put into the components. Even the blank cost me 100 bucks. Um, the guides cost me about another 50 right there, or 40. I'm sorry. Not to mention epoxy time thread and work. So if you're interested, let me know, and then I can come down to here put your name, put a label, put the sizing of the rod. Um, like I said, this is 7.6, it does convert down. It's pretty much the baddest flipping stick that still gives you parabolic, that's really soft and flexible, but at the same time, good castability, great guides, you never have to worry about damaging. Went a little bit oversized on the inserts in the guides, stuck with size eights all the way down. Big heavy duty reinforced tip. Uh, every, every one of my rods are all done and uh, basically a aft coat epoxy because that's the best. I've tried every epoxy out there and aft coat hands down dominates them all uh, as far as UV and everything. I'm not trying to get a plug I'm just saying a lot of people use something because of its name Power Pro, Flex Coat, etc. I'm not trying to badmouth those companies. They were great for their time. Time to change. Get with it. Aft coat is the way to go. It takes a little bit longer to cure, but it stays perfectly clear no matter what UV you've been hit with, and it stays soft and flexible at the same time. Bonds well, soaks up well. So that is the flipping stick, and like I said, the extensive level of marbling alone would go well. I matched a color pattern to a Daiwa Coastal Zillionaire or the regular Daiwa Saltwater Coastal. Basically, any blue silver blue black type bait casting reel would be great um, like I said it's completely unfished and ready to roll so make an offer and uh, actually don't make an offer buy it for the price I said I'm already losing money damn <laughs> I just got a bad nod that this is a bad video to put on but I'm gonna put it on anyway because that's just who I am